Welcome YouTube. Hello to my boredom busters and welcome to all you hobby hunters. This is Brad's Boredom Busters and I am your host Brad Claybaugh. This is the channel that explores all different kinds of hobbies. So if you're looking for something new to do, this is the place for you. All right, so in our last video, I told you we were gonna be working on a new project. It'll be a rainbow and black yin yang pattern on a black t-shirt. But before we get into that, hey Buster, show these people what to do if they wanna to subscribe to our channel. All right, so this project is gonna be something different from what we've done in the past. We're gonna be working on a black t-shirt. So that means if we wanna add color, we've gotta remove the black out of that t-shirt. So I'm gonna show you how to remove the factory black dye out of the t-shirt. Then I'll show you how to add your own colored dye to make the rainbow yin yang pattern. So the materials you'll need for this project will be a black t-shirt. What you'll also need, instead of our washable marker that we've been using to create the patterns in the past, you'll need a white pencil that would wash out of the fabric. You'll need something like a tailor's chalk or any kind of white pencil that would show up on the black shirt when we draw up the pattern. You'll also need rubber bands and then your dye. Because it's gonna be a rainbow pattern, you'll need yellow, red, blue, green, orange, and purple. Okay, gang, before we start our project, I wanna just uh, do a quick reminder uh, how we deal with our t-shirts. So just like all our other projects, we've pre-washed the t-shirt. Well, we're not getting into the dyeing process yet, but still, before we do the bleaching process, we still need to pre-wash our t-shirt, and then once it's gone through the spin cycle in your washer, you leave it damp, don't dry it, and then we'll take it out and fold it, and then when it's damp, it'll take the bleach water uh, more easily. All right, let's go over to my work table and I'll show you how to prepare the t-shirt for the bleach process. Okay busters, we're here at my work table uh, getting ready to fold up our black t-shirt to create the yin yang pattern so we can get it ready to bleach. So now when we go to fold this up there's a few materials that we're going to need. We're going to need because we're working on a black shirt uh, something that's white to mark the pattern with. You can either use a tailor's chalk or some sort of all marking type of pencil. I have this one and it's designed to be used on glass, plastic, wood, and it works fine for the fabric as well. So that's what I'll be using. Uh, we're also going to need something to draw a straight line with. So I'm going to be using my yardstick. Any long straight edge that you may have that is long enough to go the length of the shirt. When we tie up the pattern, we'll need rubber bands and kite string. Okay, so let's get started. I'll show you how to find the center so we can create our center line. Uh, to do the bottom, it's best to take the under the armpits of the t-shirt at the seams, take that and then that gets that laid in half really well. Then you can grab the bottom points and bring those together. And that creates the bottom center. Then you can take your two shoulder seams, bring those together, essentially helping fold the shirt in half again at the collar. Line those up with each other. Uh, 
All right, and so that gives you the center of your collar. So there we go. So we are divided in half. So now you can take your yardstick at this time and strike your line down the middle. Okay, there we go. So now we need to divide the shirt up into quarters. And so we take the very bottom and take that all the way up to the top of your collar. And then just kind of give it a smash with your palm of your hand, just to give it a crease. Bring that back. And that gives you the middle. And then you can take the bottom and bring that up to that middle line. Give it another smash. There's that point, and then bring the top of the collar down to the center mark. And give that a good smash. There we go. Okay, so now we are divided equally all along the length of the shirt so now what we want to do oh i forgot to mention one other item you're going to need need uh because we got to create the circles the you know the little spots in the yin yang pattern so you need something round not too large to put over these two spots i like i i find that the inside of a roll of masking tape seems to be a good size so that's what I'm going to use so center the roll of masking tape over the center of your uh, bottom mark make sure you can see that there you go and just go around on the inside of that to establish our bottom circle. And then we'll slide that shirt down. Do the same thing for this top circle. There we go. Mark that one off. There we are. Okay, now for the curving part of the yin-yang pattern. We will take our kite string and tie a slip knot in that. Okay, get that over your pencil or whatever you're using. And then take that to the center, our center mark on the line. Take your kite string and pivot it in the center of the bottom circle. And then trace your first bottom radius. Clean that up a little bit. Okay, good. And now let's 
slide this on down. Keep it good and flat. Okay. And everyone can see the rest of that shirt now. So now we'll just reverse that and go from the top circle center to the center of the shirt and then trace our radius out from there all the way up to the top of the collar. Okay, good. All right, so now that's our yin yang pattern drawn out. So now we can start folding on that. So what you want to do, let's make sure we're even again here. Okay. You want to take and fold the shirt in half down your line, down the center line. So what we want to fold up first are the two circles or the two dots in the center of the yin yang. So just like before, just take little bites and the fabric, make your pleats, just manipulate the fabric. You want always when you're done folding to have your lines that you mark straight. So if it's a circle or a curve, it doesn't matter. When you're finished, it should be a, as straight a line as you can make it. All right, so there's the first one. Rubber band that off to hold it in place. You want the rubber band to be right on your line. Okay, let's do the next one up at the top. Same thing. Just take manageable little bites. Okay, there's our second one. Or after you get the two dots folded and banded, now open the shirt back up. And now we fold our long curve. Basically do the same as with the little ones. Just take manageable bites. And when you're finished, try and have as straight a line as you can. Just keep maneuvering the fabric so it's in front of you so it makes it easy to fold. Okay, there we go. So we've got a pretty good fold there. It's really pretty straight. All right, so now you take your kite string. And we're gonna tie it off with that. It's easier with the kite string than trying to get a rubber band over all this material. This way you can just hang on to it with your fingers and hang on to the kite string at the same time. Pull it under, over the top, pull it under. About Three or four wraps are usually enough to hold it in place. All right, so that's the center tied off. And now with this one, I am going to bleach out up by the collar. And so what we wanna do at this point 
is take this and just do a scrunch and kind of leave our dot up where we can get to it. All right, and then we just want to band that off. Okay, so there that is. We've got our two dots ready to be bleached. Well, actually, the bottom one gets bleached. The top one doesn't get bleached. And then the scrunch gets bleached. So, all right. So that's ready to go out and be bleached out at the laundry sink. But I'm going to give all my fans and subscribers a little bit of a bonus on this video. I'm going to also do a spiral, a bleach spiral with a rainbow color. So this is really basic. I've shown everyone how to do the spiral in the past. So we're just going to do that again. Take a just about below the armpit pinch. Spin. Okay, there's our spiral. It'll get bleached at the same time that we bleach our yin yang. All right, let's head out to the laundry sink in the garage and we'll get this all bleached out. All right, all you groovy cats, we're out here in my garage. So let's mix up our bleach water now. Because the shirts are slightly damp, that means there's some moisture in there already. So we want to mix this bleach up maybe about 60-40. Uh, this is a five ounce bottle. So I'm going to put in three ounces of bleach and two ounces of water. Okay. All right, now's the time to Get your gloves on before I go any further. I should have put them on already, but better late than never. Okay, so now let's get our yin yang shirt bleached. So like I said, the bottom dot gets bleached. The top one stays black. And then we bleach out the upper portion of the yin yang pattern. And unlike when you're dyeing your white t-shirts or any other t-shirt, you're not trying to get it really saturated because you don't want to take out all the black. That's the point of having a black t-shirt that you're bleaching is getting still some of the black effect in with the color. So you just want to moderately, you know, saturate. And then on the spiral I'll show you that that even gets less bleach okay so let's start the bottom here that's enough for the first side make sure you clean off any bleach that ran onto your surface here so you don't accidentally get it on the parts you want it to stay black. And we can turn it over and do the back side of that now. Now wipe off your surface again. Okay, and now's a good time to See, and you can see how the shirt's turning color, so you can kind of see where you might need to bleach a little bit more. Some spots that you might have missed. Okay, that's good. We'll let that sit. That's it for about four or five minutes, and then we'll rinse that out. And then we'll 
neutralize the bleach with the baking soda. Actually, while that is doing its thing, we can bleach up the spiral now as well. And the spiral is really simple because all you need to do is one side. And it's just a really quick process and just a quick application. Because with this, you don't necessarily want it to go everywhere and you don't want to take out all your black. That should be enough. All right, we'll let both of those sit for five minutes and then we'll take care of rinsing and then neutralizing. Okay, so you can see how our shirts have turned a nice bright orange. Obviously the yin yang's been in the bleach a little bit longer than the swirl. It's a little brighter, but it's been long enough for both. And so now we'll rinse them out and then neutralize them after that. Okay, now they both can go in this bucket. Fill that up with water and then add baking soda to it. Let that sit to neutralize for about 5-10 minutes. Alright, after this is done neutralizing, then it will go back in the wash. And we will give it a full wash cycle. When it's done spinning, it will come out, go in the soda ash then back in the wash to spin out most of the moisture. Then I'll meet you back at my work table and we'll fold everything up again and we'll be ready for dye. All right, all my dude and dudettes, we're back here at my work table to fold up our yin yang shirt again to get it ready to dye. So we've already established the pattern in our dots so we don't really need to mark out anything again just get the shirt squared up again take it by the armpit seams on your sleeves shake it out and that'll even everything out and then lay that out flat and then basically just take and fold the bottom hem corner to corner. Keep that even, get rid of the folds or wrinkles. And then take your sleeves get those laid out evenly Get that even down at the bottom. There we go. And straighten out your shoulder seams and get those laying even to each other. The sleeves, so everything even along the side, the middle front. That kind of gets you right where you need to be. Okay, so now we've got our t-shirt right in half again.
Okay, so now we've established our t-shirt to be right exactly in half again, so it's folded right down the center line. Now we can just follow the bleach pattern that you've established and fold up your dots again. And just eyeball the bleach to be your fold line. And so you want to have your fold or the, the bleach pattern of the fold uh, as straight as possible, just like you did when you first laid it out. Take your rubber band and band that up again. The first one, I'll come up here to the top spot, and fold that up again. Okay, there we go. All right, so those are both folded up again. So now we can unfold the shirt. And now reestablish your fold along the curve of the yin yang. And just let the bleach line basically be the guide to fold where to fold again. Okay, there you see we're folded along our bleach line again. So now we can take our kite string and tie that back up again, the same way that you did to get it ready to bleach. Okay, good. long ends. Okay, so now at this point, before we had scrunched up this and rubber band it to bleach it, but to get it ready to dye our rainbow pattern, we want to stretch it out, kind of establish your pleats here. sure your spot is kind of up out of the way so it doesn't get dyed although the black it probably wouldn't show up on it anyway all right and then we want to rubber band that all up now I'm just going to spin it around just because I'm right-handed makes it a little easier to slide everything on okay so we have it rubber banded and you want to put your rubber bands on kind of evenly spaced uh, because you'll do the rainbow colors in between each band so we will do our rainbow from the red going to purple. So it'll be a red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. All right, so this is ready for dye. I had the spiral that I had done in the bleach so I can Spiral that up again, also get it banded, get it ready to be dyed. So we'll set that one aside. All right, so that's simple, that's ready to go. All right, 
So let's head out to the laundry sink in the garage and we will get these dyed up and then they'll go in the tub to batch for 24 hours. Then I'll rinse them out and wash them out and then we'll do a reveal after that. Okay, out to the garage. Okay, so we're out here at the sink ready to dye. Uh, I'll go through the colors and I will put them on the screen as I apply it also. But we're going to be using bright yellow, deep orange, Chinese red, bright green, sapphire blue, and deep purple. And as I said before, we will start with the red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And then our little spot here also gets a rainbow treatment. And it's basically applied almost in the same order. We don't need some of the colors because it's such a small area. So we will start with the red and then yellow, blue, and purple. But we will start red, then apply the purple and the blue. Yellow will go last and it'll overlap the red and the blue and that'll give us the orange and the green. And we will dye that first. First side done, let's clean up our area here. We don't transfer color where we don't want it. Get that over. There we go. All right, and then you just repeat everything in the same place again. Okay, so that's all for that shirt. That'll go in the tub to batch over 24 hours. Let me get that one in and we'll do the spiral next. Okay, so ready to do our spiral. It's a lot of times for a rainbow, you just do the primary colors, the red, blue, yellow, and where they blend together, you get your secondary colors, but I'm going to try to actually do all six colors on the one shirt and see what kind of effect we get from that. So we will apply it in kind of the same order. We'll do the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, which means the purple will be up next to the red, which is good. Um, if you know your color theory, your secondary colors are a blend of your primary colors, but you don't want secondary colors to be next to each other because that makes kind of a muddy color. But you can put a primary and a secondary together as long as your secondary color is made out of the primary color that it's up next to. So to make purple, it's red and blue. So it's okay to put the red next to the purple, it just will change it to more of a red-violet kind of color, so that's okay. All right, let's get started. All 
All right, so that's done. That'll go in, batch it for 24. They'll both come out of the tub after they've batched for 24 hours. I'll rinse them out here in the sink. It's good to rinse them in cold and then transition to warmer or even hot water. Then it can go into the laundry with regular detergent. And then I also use my Dharma dye fixative in with the detergent, just like a cap, cap and a half of that. And then they go through the wash, dry it, and then I'll do the reveal tomorrow and we'll see how they came out. All right, all my fine people, here is our rainbow yin yang. It came out just the way I wanted it to. I'm really happy with the result. You can see how the bleached out black shows through with the color. So this is the exact look that you would want yours to turn out. Yes, I'm very happy with the results of this. I think it came out bitching. And now let's uh, also reveal our bonus black swirl. Okay, and so here is our black and rainbow spiral. It came out really good. The colors came out saturated very nicely. It filled in everywhere that I wanted it to. I think it's an interesting look. Like I say, it's still a rainbow, even though we used primary and secondary colors. But you can see all of them. You can see the greens and the purples and the orange and plus then the yellows and the blues and the red. So we have all the colors right here. This one came out very nice too. So hey, I hope you like them. I hope you give them a try. So let's go back to the desk and we'll talk about what's coming up next. All right, all you fine people. So I hope you really enjoyed that uh, project. Hope you give it a try. Hope it turns out really well for you. It's a really fun and bitchin' project to do. It's really a neat shirt to wear, and I hope you like it. All right, so let's talk about our next upcoming project. We've been doing all these fine tie-dye patterns, and there's one really nice, easy, basic one that I've almost slipped my mind to introduce to all my friends, and that would be the V-Front pattern. And so our next tie-dye project will be a V-front pattern. And we're going to do two variations of it. It's really a basic, simple pattern. And so let's kind of change it up and make it interesting and see what we can make out of it. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this project. If you learned something new, maybe give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming projects. And if you really like this, maybe tell some of your friends they could subscribe too, and that would really help out my channel. And if you have any questions or really liked what you saw, leave me a comment down below. And I'll have my contact information and information on where to get Dharma dyes in the description section below as well. So, hey, have a really good time. Try this out. And don't forget, peace out, baby. And go ahead and bust out some art.